we defined moment generating functions for a single random variable x way back in chapter 3. So now that we have two random variables, two or more random variables, there is something that's known as a joint moment generating function. So here is the definition. Let x1, x2 be a random vector. The joint moment generating function of x1 and x2 is m of t1, t2 is equal to the expected value of e to the t1, x1 plus t2, x2, provided that the expected value exists on negative h1 is less than t1 is less than h1 and negative h2 is less than t2 is less than h2 for some positive constants h1 and h2. This tailing part of the definition simply says that the expected value has to exist in some neighborhood about the origin. The neighborhood is defined as a rectangular region. You have a positive constant h1 and a positive constant h2. And so this particular set of inequalities will be a rectangular region about the origin. This can be used to generate moments. The expected value of x1 is the partial derivative of the joint moment generating function with respect to t1 and then 0, 0 is plugged in. The expected value of x2 is the partial derivative of the joint moment generating function with respect to t2 and then again 0, 0 is plugged in. To find the expected value of x1 squared you take the second partial derivative with respect to t1 and then plug in 0, 0. Likewise for the expected value of x2 squared Finally, if for example it's helpful for calculating a covariance, you might want the expected value of x1 times x2, and that's the mixed second partial derivative of the joint moment generating function with respect to t1 and t2 evaluated at 0, 0.